Heights cheerleaders, and you're watching big game coverage on KSAT 12. Woo! The Harlandale Indians came in tonight's big game and our big game coverage with the exact same record as Alamo Heights, 5-1 and one overall, 5-0 and oh in district. First quarter, and the Mules are kicking. Running back Bennett Flesher here gets it on the delayed handoff. He bursts through the line, then races to the outside. It's a foot race, but no one's going to get him. The 44-yard touchdown makes it 7-0 Heights. Mules are not done. They're on the Indians' 20-yard line. Quarterback Conley McKenna standing in the pocket, fires over the middle to Red Anderson, 14 nothing after a Mules interception. They're on the Harlandale 11-yard line. McKenna finds Henry Robeson in the end zone, and it's 21 to nothing. Alamo Heights at halftime. Alamo Heights takes it 48 to nothing. It was great, man. It was, you know, both teams 5 and 0 coming in, big game, and our boys really showed how we can play. So I'm really proud of the defense. They played lights out tonight. Really proud of them. Uh, early struggles with the offense, but we got that turned around. All right, the Brendan Bears looking to hang on number two in 12 stop 12 against the Stevens Falcons, already up 45 to nothing over the Falcons. When we arrive, Brendan with the ball on the Falcons' two yard line. Running back Nathan Tony's number is called. He delivers. He muscles his way in for the score. Stevens up 52 to nothing. Let's see if that has gone final. And it has 59 to nothing. The Taft Raiders putting their number six ranking on the line against Sotomayor Wildcats. Raiders in the red zone. They set up in the Wildcat. The snap goes to running back TJ Andrews, and he takes off here right, getting around the corner, lowers his shoulder, blasts through the would be tackler out of his way. 16-yard touchdown made it 7-0. The final from Ferris. Taft takes it 37-0. Smithson Valley making the trip to San Antonio tonight to face MacArthur at Hero Stadium. The Rangers strike first on the Mac 4-yard line. Running back Doug Lance takes a handout, makes a move to the inside, plows his way in for the score. 4-yard touchdown made it 7-0. Rangers, first year for both schools in 5A. Now let's go to the big game coverage school board for the first time tonight to see if that has gone final. It has 63-3 for Smithson Valley. 59-0. Brennan over Stevens. Elsewhere, Alamo Heights shuts out Harlan Hill. 48-0. Taft over Sotomayor, 37 to nothing. The Clemens student section at Lenhoff Stadium was rocking to see the Buffaloes take on the Judson Rockets. Game tied is seven in the first. When we arrive, Clemens with the ball on the Judson 16. Running back Cabron Miles takes a handoff, gets around the corner, turns up upfield, gets 10 yards to help set this up. Nathan Alvarez to Jameer Dudley in the end zone to go ahead score, 40 to seven. The final from Leno it is still in the fourth. It is 27 24 Judson. New Bravos enters the Hornets nest tonight, taking on East Central, District 27 6 8. Home team trying to rally down 21. To six early in the fourth quarter. Quarterback Austin Bevere keeps it himself. Dodgers defender plows over the goal line for the two-yard score. Extra point is good to make it 21-13. Final from the Hive, 35-13 New Braunfels. Southwest Legacy on the road tonight at Cardinal Stadium. Take on Southside, ranked eighth in 12 South 12. Cardinals defense putting on a show. Titans quarterback scrambles out of the pocket, looking, looking, under pressure, fires it, but Diego Gutierrez jumps in front of the would-be receiver for the interception, and he's going down the sideline, taking it all the way back. 38 yards for the pick six. Southside gets the two-point Conversion, 8 0. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard now for that final. Southside with the win, 29 7. Southwest over Medina Valley, 21 12 at Dragon Stadium. Clemens is losing right. That has gone final. That has just gone final, 27 24. Justin gets a win on that one. And New Bravos over East Central, 35 13. Roosevelt cheerleaders looking for an upset tonight against number five, Brandeis. When we arrive, Brandeis is up 20 9 in the second quarter, and we want more. Broncos on the Roosevelt 14 yard line. Quarterback J.C. Evans finds Jalen Baker in the flat, turns it upfield for the touchdown. They go for two. Didn't get it. Broncos 26-9, and Brandeis wins it 33-23. Bastrop making a long trip down Highway 21 to 35 before pulling into Converse to face Veterans Memorial tonight at Rutledge Stadium. The Bastrop Bears on the attack, opening kickoff. They go for the onside kick. They recover. It's the kicker, James Ramon, who recovers it. The Bears make the most of the turnover. Running back Demir Thompson scores from three yards out. They miss the extra point, 6-0. The final from Rutledge. It is Veterans Memorial coming back to win that one 44-32. Some future McCollum cheerleaders having some fun with the Cowboys mascot tugging at his mustache. Second quarter, McCollum down 7-6, but not for long. Quarterback Justin Rodriguez keeps it on the option to find some daylight, turns it up for the nine-yard score. 13-7 Cowboys, final from Harlandale Memorial, 21-19. Sam Houston comes back to win that one. The Brackenridge Eagles, the home team tonight at Alamo Stadium when they face Lanier Bogues. Lanier on the Brack 19-yard line. Quarterback Santiago Gallegos takes a snap, drops back, fires into the end zone. Look at, he finds Vicente Chacon go up and make the great grab for the touchdown. That's a heck of a catch. 7-0 Lanier. Let's go back to the big game coverage scoreboard to see if that has gone final. It has. Brackenridge comes back to win that one. 22-19. Sam Houston also another comeback. 21-19 over McCollum. Roosevelt falls to Brandeis. 33-23. And Veterans Memorial over Bastrop. 44-32. Wild scene in the Antonio student section tonight. Push-ups for points but on the fence line as Antonio was up 21-7 over Central Catholic in the third. The Apaches extend that lead right here. Quarterback Jace Toscano standing tall in the pocket looking for the feed down the field and he finds Raleigh Strode. 
wide open down the middle, and his foot race stroke races in untouched for the 65-yard touchdown. 28-7 Antonian, the final 42-14 Antonian. The Rocket cheerleaders welcome us to Edgewood Veterans Stadium to see Kennedy take on Uvalde. Third quarter, the Rockets are up 15-14, but the Coyotes are on the hunt. Abram Ale takes the pitch on the option. He finds a little room to get down to the Rockets' one-yard line. Next play, Ale lines up in the Wildcat, takes the snap, powers his way in for the touchdown. Uvalde goes for two. They get it, and they go up 22-15, and they take it 22-17. Both teams' mascots holding hands on the sideline today as they prepare for the IB Bowl. Third quarter, Jefferson up 14-7, but the Bulldogs bite back at Burbank. Running back Robert Martinez looks, slips out of the tackle in the backfield, breaks free, turns the corner, races in for the 15-yard score to tie the game of 14 all. Let's see how that one finishes. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard. Burbank pulls out the victory over the mighty Mustangs 20-14. Uvalde over Kennedy 22-17. Elsewhere, Sam Marcus losing to Steele 49-14. Of course, Steele is number one. And Antonio over Central Catholic 42-14. We are just getting started. Up next, our big game coverage. Road trip, fan cam, and more highlights and more scores. But first, let's listen to the Clemens Buffaloes Marching Band.